Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome to viewers to some more Trail Makers. I'm actually super excited today because we actually get to test something out today. Uh, the devs were really nice enough to send me over the 1.7.4 update for Trail Makers, which contains uh, some new blocks and some new things that they've done to the game. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's jump in. Let's see what they've actually done to the game. So I guess we'll just go uh, sandbox here. We can go to the test zone and just check some stuff out. All right, so here we are in Trail Makers. So now the devs have given me access. Thank you very much, devs. I appreciate it a whole lot. Uh, to some of the new stuff here. Uh, and what we've actually got, uh, let's go into build mode here. Ooh, okay. So they, yeah, they changed the skins on a lot of the stuff here. Uh, it looks cleaner. I know a lot of the stuff had like damage marks on it and stuff. So let's look at this. Oh, you can even color this seat now. I think this seat wasn't colorable before. But yeah, there were a lot of like damage damage stuff the the blocks looked older and worn out and everything is like super clean now which is really nice to see uh i wonder if we'll ever get those damage blocks back maybe in the future or as some sort of update as to like the actual damage of the vehicle uh as well as part of that glow that we have but this is really cool there's a lot of things that you can actually change here uh all these blocks ooh, everything looks really crisp and clean yeah, just something about it. It's really nice looking at these guys. Oh, you can color these guys now too. Lots of changes, lots of changes. Yeah, everything is super crisp looking. This is really nice. Oh, look at the engines. Engines look super clean like this guy here. This was, this had a lot of marks and stuff on it. And now look at it, it's nice and clean looking. Nice shine to it. Yeah, there's some, there's some nice new updates here. Uh, I'm not gonna go through all these blocks. I think all of them have been retrofitted here. Yeah, even the tires, yeah. Everything has kind of got a nice little change here. Nice and smooth looking. Got rid of a lot of that damaged look that we had. Yeah, even the wings. Even the wings look nicer and smoother. Yeah, everything has got a nice, nice little clean look to it. Uh, it was all just kind of worn out before. So I dig it. I'm curious to see if we do get the worn out stuff back at some point in the future. Uh, I'm kind of curious about that. Uh, nothing else here, uh, but that's not why we're here today. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. We want to actually check out. I don't even know where this part is housed at. Maybe it's under gadgets. Where do we have this tractor beam? No, where are we hiding this thing at mechanics? Is it under mechanics? Oh, here it is at the very back uh, power coupling and it's one power core. Okay, oh, okay, so I was a little confused here. I thought this was a bigger part than this. I thought it looked something like, they kept showing it like this, and maybe that was just for the sake of uh, actually understanding what the thing does, that it can hold two blocks in between, but that's what they kept showing, so that's what I kept seeing as the power coupler. Interesting. And then the other question I have, let's go back to this. Let's highlight all of that. How, how stiff is this? This is, okay. It holds it. Oh, and you can walk through it. Okay, no, no, uh, no ill effects there. So it treats it like a solid block. Okay, that makes sense. Just with the visual of the the arc in between it. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, can we make this thing longer? Stiffness, delay, duration. Oh, you can do a button to it. Does that like turn it on? Okay, hang on. Let's see what this does. Okay, you know what? It would probably help to have a seat attached to this, and then we can actually understand what's going on with this. All right, so we'll just do the go-kart. Go-kart seat looks new too. Everything's got some changes to it. Wait, is this not a three by? I'm just using a three by. I want to use the motorcycle seat just for this test. Okay, so this should, let's go down with that. Oh, okay, so we can turn this on and off with a button, but it doesn't actually get rid of the block or you don't lose the connection in between. Uh, that's interesting. I was thinking that maybe it would actually disconnect it like the disconnect uh, block, but it does not. It just makes it disappear. Oh, you could do some really cool stuff to simulate some engines being turned on with this. So when the engines are off, you know, nothing. And then the engines are on. It looks, you know, got a lot of stuff going on there. Really cool. Okay, what else can we do with this? Uh, let's see. Let's go back to this. Delay and duration. Delay before reacting to the input. Okay, so we can put some delay on this. Beam opacity. Okay, so we can turn the color of the beam down. Oh, so you can go completely invisible with this thing and then still just... What does that look like? Okay, so we can just... We've invisible blocks now is that a thing we've still got these little pegs here though that's not a so that kind of keeps it from being invisible show advanced okay hang on show advanced hide part one hide part two. Oh wait 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 okay now this thing's completely invisible so there is an invisible block now interesting what could you do with this oh there's so many like little multiplayer things that i think we could do that would be really cool with this uh, that's your that's your main connecting block. Maybe you got to hit that to disconnect it. I don't know. There's there's some cool ideas to do with this. That's gonna get really confusing though when you're just like, where is this block? You're gonna have to try and find it. All right, so let's select it back. Let's go to let's get the beam back on. Let's put the parts back. 
I wish we could make this longer though. In the in the video, it felt like this was longer. Maybe that was just the way. Maybe it's when it's when it's driving, it's getting stretched out. Let's try this. I want this, this, and this. I want all of this. Can I not select all this? Here we go. Let's do this. All right, that's that. Let's find ourselves an engine propulsion. I want something super fast on here. So let's go with dragon jets. Is that gonna look right? That doesn't sit even. So what we'll have to do, let's do this. We can go down with it. Let's copy it on the other side. We're essentially already making a pod racer here. Uh, let's get the shield for the bottom and we can just use that as our connection points. All right, and these are space bar. Let's build that. Oh, that was interesting. The way the coupling connected just then. Let's try that again. Look how it, it like drops like it's, it's kind of like floppy. Okay, those are going. It doesn't seem like the rope stretches out any so it doesn't get longer so that I've, i feel like this is just a static block that we're, we're dealing with here and we've kind of made like a little pod racer here already i'm trying to think what else could we could do with this i do like the idea that we can uh we can hide the stuff uh can we change the color of the beam i'm sure we can right we can make this uh oh wait that was that was the wrong part so that's uh color one is going to be the blocks themselves and then color two is the actual beam that's cool. Let's give it a purple beam. That feels very sci-fi right there. And we'll make those black. Sweet. That looks really cool. I'm excited about this part. Um, I, I can see a lot of builds happening with this. Clearly, we're going to be having some pod racers uh, that are going to be coming out. But there's going to be a lot of other sci-fi. I'm, I'm excited about making some engines that look like they're running with this kind of uh, mechanic here. Uh, but I think I want to build something real quick with this. And then uh, see what we got here. All right, so if we're going to build a pod racer, uh, that's what I feel like everybody's going to be building with this. Uh, they've got the main the main cab or the main uh, driver's seat in the back. Uh, they're connected by some cables, and then you've got the harness that uh, connects them up as well. Uh, let's go back and actually, let me look at a picture real quick. Because all the pod racers, they're just very, like, diesel punk, steampunk, just kind of thrown together with the parts that they have. Pod racer. Okay, so the connections here are not, they're not these. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these. What we can do, let's find the hinges. We'll do some steering hinges. No, we don't want to block that part. We want to rotate it. Man, I'm loving the cl the cleanliness of these parts is really, really nice. Uh, that's super exciting. I, I'm excited to see what the other guys think about this. Uh, is that the same? Is that? Okay, let's rotate this out like that. Let's go find us some pipes. There are some long pipes, right? One by eight. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be perfect for this. Perfect for this, but one by eight there. Then I want to copy this to this side. And I think whatever we do here, we do to here. I don't think this is going to work now that I'm trying to do this. I don't think this is going to work because we've got to build the engines first and that part between us doesn't stretch. So none of that works. None of this works. Let's go back to the mechanic. We've got the pod racer piece right here. Now we've got to put two engines side by side. Mechanics, frame, engines, where are they? Engines, engines, engines. Propulsion. So clearly we want these, right? These are pod racer engines? Is this what, uh... I feel like that's what we should be connecting them to. Holy crap, those are big. Those are really big, though. What about... Let's do tools, mirror mode. I feel like the raw jets look pretty good for this. As far as a pod racer goes. And then maybe we could add some regular space thrusters to these to actually give some constant thrust. And then we use the raw jets for, uh maximum power let's try that let's go to aerodynamics what blocks do we have here that we can anything to make round no what about the weight blocks there there was a round weight block wasn't there there is but it doesn't have connection points on the side i need a round disc for something like this because now we're stuck doing this where is the aerodynamic part we're left doing something like this or we've got this big piece here which is too big let's just do this this will work. Oh, yeah. You know what we can do? We can do it like this. This will work. This will work. Let's duplicate that. Rotate that. Yeah, that'll work. I like that. And then we need to get the aerodynamic stuff where we got some lift and drag. Where's the helicopter stuff? These guys. These guys will look really good in here. If I can figure out which way we're going. Almost like some deflectors for the, for the engines here. Yeah, I like that. Let's go get some aerodynamic pieces. We need a two by one. Where's this two by one? Or... We continue with this round shape here. Maybe we do this. Let's do this. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Now I just need to duplicate that. I want to duplicate this because uh, I want some of these fins kind of on the. Oh, these things go forward, don't they? I'm uh, I'm building this backwards. These 
You usually go up front, something like this. Will that connect? Is there a connection point there? No, there's not. Okay, so we'll have to do it like that. Then we'll copy this over. Come on, give me that. Can I have that, please? Thank you. Then we'll do it like that. Yes. Okay, let's get rid of these. Now we're getting somewhere. All right. Now we need... Do we just use the one by fours? How does that look? Not terrible, but not great. Let's roll with it. Oh, that tractor beam is there. How's this going to work? Hmm. Delete that. Let's delete the tractor beam. Let's get our engines built. And then we can figure out the tractor beam after this. I just don't like the way that looks. I don't like the way this is so bulky on the sides. What if we don't have that? Let's go to pipes, tubes, tubes and stuff. Okay, that looks better. Kind of like that. And then we can take these. Let's turn these around. And then that gives us a connection point here. We do something like this. This maybe will look better than what we had. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so then we need a little tiny piece here, one by one. There we go. Oh, I love the sounds. Clunk, clunk, clunk. That's awesome. Okay, so we'll take this, this, and this. This, this, and this. We'll copy that. Can I go to this side with it? I can, but we don't have any connection points here. So, what we're gonna have to do is get rid of this. And this is fine, because we need a connection point for our beam as well. So we'll get rid of that, get rid of that. All right, so we've moved that forward. Is that not gonna be, con why is that not connected? Is it because nothing's connected here? I think that's what it is. Let's go back to gadgets. If I stick a piece in here, does that fix that? Oh, we can make these wider and then get rid of, yes, 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 yes. Okay, we're figuring things out. Let's do this, spread these out. We'll come in and put, oh, okay. We're gonna put two of these in here. That will actually give us the length that we need, I think, for this. Let's get down. Okay, then we'll take this, connect it up. Why is none of that connected? Because this is not connected. Hmm, so now I gotta find a way to connect this to all of this. Whoa, okay, so there's this part here. This part. All right, there we go. That is now connected, and we've got these engines as our main thrust. Uh, let's get rid of hide part one. No, hide part two. Yeah, so we have the connections here on the actual piece, but there's no connection in the middle. That is awesome. What does this look like spawned in? That looks pretty cool. And then we can put our little car back here. And I think that will look really nice. Yes. Okay, cool. Let's get back into this. I feel like we could do some extra stuff in here with our propulsion. Like some of these rocket thrusters, I feel like would be nice in here. Where do they fit? Do they fit in like this little zone here? But where do they connect? What's the connection piece for these? Is it the front? Ooh, it is the front. Okay. How do we do this? How do we do this? Do we get rid of this? And then put one here. I just want more power. We got to have more power and more speed. And it just adds kind of some greeble to these things. I kind of like that because it looks like it flows through whatever this is and then out. I dig that. And then let's put another one here. There we go. So we've got some jet engine. I like these. I'm starting to like the way these look. These look really cool. Uh, clearly, we're going to go for the motorcycle seat. All right, let's get this centered the best we can. Oh, wait, we're not going to be able to center this because this is still not centered. This is on a mirrored plane. So we do not use this one. Maybe we use the go-kart seat. That probably has a better uh, a better chance here. Let's get up into the middle here. Let's go back like that. That's a pretty decent distance, I feel like. We just got to get hooked up to here to here, which I'm not seeing how we're going to do. Unless, let's take this part. We'll turn that part around. Now we have a connection point here on the inside. We have to come in and then this way. And then, you know what? We can actually do this with pipes, I think. Let's try this. So let's go back mirror mode. Put a pipe here. Whoops. All right. Flip it like that. Yes, I realize you're not connected. One by eights in here. Okay. Is this going to work the way I want it to? We might just have to make a bigger, bigger pod back here. And that's probably what's going to have to happen. So let's go and let's get into some aerodynamic blocks here real quick. And let's see if we can't make this thing look better. Maybe. Maybe we can go with that part. Okay. We got some wedges there. I feel like now that it's this big, it might need to come back some and maybe up. The goal is to get these pipes to here, but also be connected. <sighs> I just had an idea. I just had an idea, you guys. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this. We're going to use these, but we're going to make an invisible block with them. All right. I've got this figured out. I've got this figured out. Here's how we're going to do this. We're going to put it here. We're going to copy it again. Copy it again. I want to drag that part into like here. I think I'm doing this right. I think I'm, uh, my, my, my idea is to make these invisible so you just don't see them. And then we can just connect up using these guys. Now, hang on. The question is, do these connect end to end? No. Okay. That answered that question. 
So we're still stuck with them being here. Now we just got to come up with a way to connect over here without it looking super terrible. Oh, I forget we have these slopes. Those are somewhat useful. Uh, let's see. Do it like that. We can also rotate them like this and flip it this way. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. But if these are invisible, we want to hide, hide. Opacity zero. Now we got to connect these up somehow. I'm thinking just more pipes that we can maybe connect to. Yeah, I really don't know what we're doing, guys, here. I'm, I'm literally just flying by the seat of my pants here, trying to figure this out with these new parts. But hopefully we will have something super awesome here. Okay, that works. Then we get a T-piece. Okay, this works. That's connected. So now we just got to connect you to you. Go down, rotate it that way. And now it's connected. Yeah, I don't know if I need these, guys. I don't know if I need these. Because now that I'm looking at this, I could literally just use the one by eights, which is what I was trying to do before. I forget that we have these slanted pieces here. That makes all the difference. You can see where I was trying to go there, but if, if you need an invisible block, you need to get from one point to another to make something like it's floating, you can use these. It's just gonna take a little bit of practice to get there. Um, let's get rid of, let's take this back. Get rid of that. I wanna get rid of all this. Cause I'm gonna duplicate this one more time. I can do that and then a corner. All right, steering. So let's go to mechanics. Uh, I'm going to put a gyro somewhere underneath like that. That should give us steering. How does that work? Does that not strong at all? Um, let's increase that. Let's try five. Does that work? It's trying to. Is it because the steering is happening back here and not in the front? Maybe that's what's going on. Slow us down. I think maybe the gyro needs to come up front and it needs to go somewhere in these engines, which means these engines need to be bigger. Let's do this. Let's take this back. We'll put a gyro in there. How does that work? Oh, that's disconnected. That has a very loose pod racer feel to it. I don't know why that's loose though. Why is that not? Oh, I see why it's not connected. So these things actually bend. That's interesting. They have flex to them, which I was not expecting out of a rigid block. So now the question is, how do we utilize that? Okay, so mirror mode. They were broken because of this. So now they should all be one piece. They look like they were turning, but I don't know if they were turning enough. Let's go down with this. We'll hide these. Was there any curved aerodynamic pieces that we could use? We could use another one of these. That gives us some shape there. And then we can kind of do something here on this side, maybe. Or we just do the same thing we've done before and flip that around like that. I don't know if I like that. We could. I think we should do this and then do something like another tail fin or something on this. Let's go to lift and drag. So we've got the short blades. That looks funky. Uh, first of all, I need to put this on both sides. Let's go over here. There we go. Now we can start doing some mirror mode again. Mirror mode. Kind of want some more jet engine stuff here. Propulsion. These guys. These guys fit really nicely in here. What if we did that instead? Do we have a shorter? We do. We do. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. We'll get rid of this one. Propulsion will go up. We'll rotate it over like that. Nice. And then we'll take this. I can get this to go right. Come on. This one can go in there. Excellent. Okay, so space bar, space bar, space bar, space bar. All these. Okay, we're going to do these individually. We're going to turn all these on with one. Oh, I wanted it to toggle too. I forgot to do that. These must be extras. How did I do that? Okay, so now space bar turns us on and space bar gives us extra boost. Can we turn? Man, I am struggling to turn here. Okay, let's slow down a little bit. All right. Why am I not turning now? Let's. Take it to 10, see what that does. I am not turning at all. Is there a reason for that? Is it because we're dragging the ground? Or we just have so much, oh, are we turning? Hang on, let's see if I can line these up. I'm trying to use the lines here to see if we actually are straightening up and we are not. Okay, not sure why we're not turning now, but that's a thing. I feel like maybe they're fighting each other. Let's try this. Let's take it back to the back again, since we have uh, it maxed out here. And let's see if that fixed things. Okay, so that broke things here. No worries, we just do that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It did not like being on those separate blocks. Okay, now we have way too much turning. Woohoo! Okay, we can definitely take this down a notch. Uh, let's take this down to five. Oh yeah, that feels a lot better. That's a lot better. Nice. Look at that. Zoop. Get a little extra boost here before the engines explode. Nice. Nice, it just hit 300 there. Okay, cool. Uh, what else? We, we need to build up around our guy here. This guy looks a little exposed in the uh, the world here. So let's do something around this seat here. 
All right, add a little bit to the back here. Not much, just wanted to kind of fancy it up a little bit, and I think we're pretty good. Let's, uh, let me paint this up a little bit, and uh, let's get out and mess around with it. Ooh, now that looks cool. I'm digging this. Let's try and make this hover. All right, I've got it kind of working here with some gimbals, but now i got to add a gyro because the things are just flipping over on me. Uh, so I can find the mechanics here. Let's get our stabilization gyros here. Uh, I just need them to be this way. And it just adds to the engine. It just makes the engine look like it's got more parts on it anyway. So that's perfect. Oops, let's not put it there. Let's put it there. And we'll just put a little bit of a aerodynamic blocks in there to round things off. Hopefully that does it. Let's give it a go. I'm still too much power in the back here. Too much power in the back. Um, how do I resolve this? I've, I've gone down to like almost 1% on this. I can't really go any lower other than maybe turning this one off completely. That's negative power. I didn't know I could do negative thrust on that. That's cool. Zero. Build. Hover. Okay, those are trying to just hover the whole thing. Okay, so I don't need this one back here. Let's get rid of that one. That's fine. How do I resolve this? How do we put one up here and make it look good? I don't know if we can. All right, I don't know if this is going to work. I've been trying some things around. Let's see if this actually does anything too. Okay. We've got slight hover, which is nice because it reduces the drag that we have here. Uh, so we can actually get some speed going. Let's see, how fast can we go? Well, why is it dragging on this one side? Is that side not lifting up? It feels like the right side's a little lower. But, oh, okay, there you go. That's cool. That's what I was hoping for. That is awesome. Oh, oh, look at this. Okay. Uh, we might need some side-to-side -side gyro because that is a little... This is fun. This is actually fun, though. We've got enough controls here to kind of do something. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, I dig it. Oh, I dig it. Oh, it's so awesome. It's so awesome. All right, so let's set this down. Uh, what if we come in here and make these purple or something? Or red? Ooh, I like red. Red looks red looks good. Um, I dig that. Is there anything else here that we want to make red? I think just having the red beam in the middle looks good. All right, so we fixed the cockpit a little bit. I got a little bit of controls in there. You can't see much, uh, but you know, it is for this. We were just trying to figure out this new block today and I ended up building an entire pod racer out of it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going here. Uh, let's see how well that new gyro works. Oh yes, yeah, so we still got a little side to side rotation, but it's not terrible now. We can actually do some pod racing. So cool. Um, guys, let me know what you think about this new update. I'm super excited about this. I'm super excited to see what the other guys think about this and see what they have videos on. Uh, lots of cool stuff coming out uh, with this. And it's really cool of the devs, again, to uh, let us have early access to this to try to figure out some things. Big special thanks to the devs for that. And yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think about this new update. Uh, let me know if you have any ideas for this uh, new block, considering what I've shown you here today. Uh, maybe you'll learn something from the other guys as well that I haven't shown you, is, and uh, we can come up with some really cool builds. But yeah, that's it for today, and uh, we will see you guys in the next one. Let's take off one more time. There we go. We're out of here, and we're spinning.